right, y'all. It's another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Uh, this time around, we got a Master Lock number two brass body. That's right, it's a brass body. Uh, this is one I got recently um, from uh, Squint. Squint sent this in for the uh, Locks Without Borders collection. Um, hopefully, uh, most of y'all are familiar with that. Um, I've got another one, at least one or two, um, uh, supposedly on their way here, so... Uh, as soon as they get here, we'll get another look at that uh, at the uh, collection, how it's growing still. Um, so, any hoodles, I figured, why not? Let's give this thing a try. Um, it's still in the package as he sent it, so I'm going to go ahead and let me get this vise out of the way a minute. I don't know if we'll use that or not. Um, and we're going to just slice into this bad boy. Let me bring the uh, camera down a little bit. Maybe we can just uh, cut around it here without cutting my finger off, hopefully. Let's see. There we go, we did good. All right. We are in. Yeah, this thing, uh, and actually, um, it wasn't until I seen it right here, laminated brass body. I actually thought Squint might have sent me a 24 karat gold lock, but you know, so I was a little let down to find out it was brass. <laughs> no, uh, so let me see. It's uh, one, two, three. It looks like a four pinner. There's the uh, key. There's the beautiful lock. It's actually really, really a cool looking lock. I don't think I've ever seen one uh, a master, uh, brass body master lock yet. So this is actually really freaking cool. Um, actually really really cool it's beautiful uh so it is brand spanking new so i'm guessing it now it looks like it's the uh it's not the ball type it is possibly shimmable i don't know let me see if it's got the uh no nope. it's made where uh you really can't scoot the pin uh the uh, shim around you'd get it caught on there so i don't think that's possible but we're not going to try that right now anyways we're going to try to pick her open now uh let me see find a tension wrench that's going to fit in here Ooh, it's pretty narrow okay let's see what we got here uh, bada boom bada bing uh that one that'll work and I'll tell you what man I haven't picked one of these in a little bit so this may be a treat even though it is just a four pinner so uh, I don't know how we want to attack it maybe um maybe the Peterson uh, short hook that might work let me see a camera over here so yeah I don't know maybe this let's see if it'll even fit I don't know if it'll fit on this ledge Ooh, a little too tall. I don't know. Let's try it anyways. If that don't work, I'll try to go from the... I don't know if you can reach it from the bottom. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it really doesn't fit under there too good. At least from that ledge. I may have to go a different approach and go from the bottom. Well, maybe. So we're in there, but... Okay. We may have something here. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So, not really, not that tough, but it is a four pinner. And to be fair, uh, that's not some of the worst bidding I've ever seen. So, uh, not bad though, but let's see since that was so quick. Um, let's see just for the heck of it 
Um, since we did get a SPP, that's a fair pick in, in my book. Um, let me see about some shimmy shims. I don't think it'll work, but because they got that, that edge that would catch the uh, shim. Yeah. So it won't let you drag the uh, shim around. As far as I know. Yeah, it'll get caught on there. I'm going to know if I can show that or if I already did. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I don't know if we can get that good on camera, but uh, there's an edge. I'll give it a shot. Just for those of you that don't know yet. Oh yeah, we can get that real good. Beautiful. Thank God for LED lighting, huh? Thank you, uh, Helpful Lock Picker, for recommending the LED panel. Um, so, obviously, here's the the uh, locking. What is it? The locking pole, I guess you'd call it. Uh, that that's what uh, locks in the shackle right there. So, using a shim, the what the idea is, you want to get the shim in there around the shackle and bring it around like so. But Master Lock at least did this right. Um, they put an edge on that locking pole right there, like I'm trying to show. You see that edge? Uh, where am I at? This side? Yeah, so the uh, shim will get caught on that edge right there um, so that you can't rotate it around. Let me see if I can put the shim in there and actually show that uh, with the camera. I don't know if we're going to get that. Uh, trying to find an angle here. Anyways, I think you can get the idea. Uh, you need to put the shim around the shackle and then rotate it, but you see what happens. It gets caught on the side of that uh, locking pole, not allowing you to do that. So uh, they got that right. Anyways, that'll do this episode of uh, Stock Lock Sunday. Thank you, uh, Squint, again for sending this in. I am going to um, add it to the Locks Without Borders collection. And uh, like I said, I got a couple more on the way, so when those come, I will... Uh, show the collection again and how far it's come along and uh i was going to say so oh yeah squint while i'm thinking of you um i have Daz evers and uh dark arts i've got your um box both ready to go squint i got one of your locks done today i'll get the other one done tomorrow hopefully and i'm hoping to get all three of y'all's boxes out monday or tuesday uh tuesday at the latest so all right that'll do her Big Al, signing out.